Number 10. Porcupine Attack in Brazil Incidents involving humans and porcupines are pretty rare, and when it comes to fatalities, it's just not something that really happens. Nobody's been murdered by a porcupine, and they rarely even attack people. And yet in 2014, a woman in Brazil had an unfortunate run-in with one of these pokey animals. She got over 250 quills stuck into her scalp. Ouch. How did it happen? Did she find the porcupine rummaging through her trash or hiding under her porch? No to both. It actually happened in a way you would never imagine. The woman, identified as Sandra Nabucco, had the porcupine fall on her head from the sky. At least that's what it seemed like when the thing landed on her head. She had been walking her dog in Gavea, located south of Rio de Janeiro. Everything was completely normal. She was just strolling down the street when she felt a thud on her head. She told a Brazilian TV network the pain was enormous. She felt the spike sticking out of her scalp and had to be rushed to the hospital. There were 272 of the spines and it took several hours of surgery to get them all pulled out. But the porcupine didn't just fall from space that it climbed up a lamppost and then slipped and fell at the exact moment Mrs. Nabucco was walking underneath it. She got a full head of quills, but the porcupine survived. When speaking with the news, Miss Nabucco remained positive. She said even though the pain was tremendous, she at least saved the animal's life. Falling on her head broke its fall. Number 9. Bulldog Bella May A bulldog named Bella May had a seriously unfortunate encounter with a porcupine and learned a lesson she'll never forget. She tangled with the wrong porcupine and was left with 500 quills embedded in her face. If you think Mrs. Nabucco had a bad with 272 on her head, imagine how the poor dog felt with 500 stuck in her nose, mouth, and eyes. The dog was in some serious misery. Luckily, the owner was able to rush Bella May to a veterinarian hospital in Oklahoma. There, the bulldog underwent emergency surgery to have as many of the prickling spines removed from her face and feet as possible. But even when the veterinarians were done, Bella May still had some quills stuck inside her body. She's expected to make a full recovery, but will probably never be the same dog again. According to Leonardo Bays, one of the veterinarians at the hospital, this was the most horrific porcupine attack he had ever seen perpetrated against a pet. That's saying something, considering this is a huge issue in Oklahoma, where dogs are known for going after porcupines. That's exactly how Bella May ended up in the situation. It was the end of July in 2012, when she and her human family went down to the local pond. There also happened to be a porcupine at the pond, who didn't appreciate Bella May sticking her nose so close. Number 8. Eating a Quill a 49-year-old woman was sent to the ER because she was experiencing shortness of breath and major chest pains. It was late 2016, and the woman thought she was going to die. To make matters worse for her, the pain in her chest increased whenever she tried to lay down and relax. What she didn't realize was that she had accidentally eaten a porcupine quill. Yeah, she had a porcupine quill stuck in her body, close to poking right through her heart. Here's what you won't believe. The victim of the porcupine quill went to a different emergency room the week before, but was sent home. Doctors said she was having a panic attack, but of course, that wasn't the case. When she visited the hospital the second time, it was pretty obvious she was in dire condition. Doctors quickly found fluid flowing in a sack around her heart. They also found a defect on the wall of her aorta. This is a major blood vessel in the human body. Doctors drained the fluid from around her heart then had to repeat the procedure three days later. They had to keep doing this over and over again. They also noticed that the defect in the wall of her aorta had gotten larger. She was bleeding internally. Doctors had to perform surgery, putting the woman on total circulatory arrest. This is when they stop all blood from flowing in the body, which allows them to look at her aorta. This was when they found the porcupine quill. It was easily removed. The damaged section of the blood vessel was taken care of, and the woman made a full recovery. When doctors told her what they had found, she admitted to having an incident with her dog several weeks earlier, but she hadn't realized that while she was pulling the quills out of her beloved canine, one of them had gotten into her body. That small piece of porcupine quill poked a hole in her esophagus, then worked its way into her aorta and nearly caused her to bleed to death on the inside. Number seven, injured raven. Back in 2013, a poor raven was attacked by a porcupine. It's not every day that a porcupine goes after a bird, but maybe it really didn't like the way the raven was looking at it. Whatever the case, the young bird was seriously injured. It had a quill stuck through its face. 
which would have made it impossible to do ordinary bird things. For the bird, its life was already forfeit. It was like a deer with a broken leg. The injury wasn't fatal, but it would prevent it from flying or feeding, thereby causing the bird to eventually starve to death. But don't worry, this story has a happy ending. This young raven was spotted perched on a fence by a resident of the Canadian province of Nova Scotia. Gertie Clearly of the small town of Elmsdale picked the raven up in her hands and very carefully pulled the quills out of its face and body, one by one. She saved the bird's life, then let it fly back into the wilderness. But the raven wasn't ready to leave yet. When she opened her door the next morning, the bird was sitting on her doorstep. Clearly, it had taken a shine to its savior. According to what Gertie told local CTV News, the bird hung around for a few days and then eventually flew off. Number 6. Tiger vs. Porcupine A tiger at the Calgary Zoo got in a little bit of trouble with a porcupine near the end of the summer of 2021. Well, it was actually the porcupine that found itself on the wrong side of the fence. Somehow, the porcupine managed to sneak its way into the tiger's habitat. As you can probably imagine, the big cat was not thrilled to see a spiky creature wandering around its territory. The female Amur tiger, named Sarma, attacked the porcupine, and she paid the price. Veterinarians at the zoo had to remove more than 100 quills from Sarma's paw, from where she had tried to smack the evading porcupine. It was quite the ordeal for the tiger, but she did make a full recovery. As for the sneaky porcupine who managed to break into her enclosure, nobody knows how it got inside. It's something of a rascal at the zoo, and maybe it just wanted to be friends with Sarma. Either way, let's help both parties learn their lesson. Number 5. Mahalo the Dog Mahalo the Dog comes from the Canadian province of Saskatchewan. In 2015, she was hunted and brutally attacked by a porcupine. The dog was injected with dangerous barbs, and some almost piercing the animal's heart and lungs. It happened while Mahalo was playing with two other dogs near the border of Montana. The porcupine managed to hit all three canines with its quills, but Mahalo took the brute of the attack. The pup had to undergo surgery to get the barbs taken out, casting her owner a whopping $8,000. Plus, Mahalo's owner had to take weeks off work to travel back and forth from its home to a major veterinary hospital to get treatment for his beloved pup. The only good news is that Mahalo made a full recovery and her owner Dennis managed to raise $10,000 to pay for her surgeries and to cover his losses from work. Number 4. Quilled to Death When a mountain lion got into a fight with a porcupine, there were no winners. The lion was part of the Teton Cougar Project of Kelly, a tracked animal living in the area of Jackson Hole. Researchers saw that the days leading up to Christmas 2014, the lion was perfectly healthy. Then she was discovered a month later, dead and filled with porcupine quills. A necropsy revealed the 16-month-old mountain lion had porcupine quills inside her chest cavity and pierced through her lungs. One of her lungs had completely failed, and she didn't live long after that. The researchers were able to put the rest of the puzzle together pretty easily. The mountain lion ate the porcupine for a snack, but the porcupine managed to get its quills into the breast at the same time. It was a lose-lose situation, with both animals ending up dead. The truly sad part is the mountain lion was an orphan. Her mother had been killed in a savage attack by another mountain lion the previous spring, leaving the cub alone. During her short life, she overcame a lot of obstacles, having no female cat to guide her. But in the end, the lion was no match for the deadly quills of a porcupine. Number 3. Rescued Bobcat it was December of 2021 when Alan McGuire saw something small and hunched on the side of the road near Iron Mountain in Dickinson County. He pulled over to investigate, discovering a small bobcat, not much bigger than a house cat. It had been injured, but not by a car. Its face and chest were covered in porcupine quills. The cat was obviously suffering, and so Alan jumped in to rescue it. He put on some welding gloves, picked up the cat, and brought it home. With the help from his wife, Christina, and his daughter and her boyfriend, they plucked the quills from the bobcat. The worst was one that had gone straight up its right nostril. If you've ever pulled a hair out of your nose, just imagine what a porcupine quill would feel like. In the end, they got most of the quills out and then let the bobcat sleep in a pet carrier filled with blankets. In the morning, the Michigan Department of Natural Resources came to pick the beast up. She was transferred to the care of Beth Mata, member of the UP Wildlife Rehabilitation Kiwina Group. 
Since then, the Bobcat has gained weight, gotten more energy, and just generally improved. Hopefully soon, the cat will be released back into the wild where it will live a long and healthy life. Number two, leopard versus porcupine. A very hungry leopard picked a fight with a porcupine in Kruger National Park, South Africa. Sometimes hunger and desperation will push an animal to do things it knows it shouldn't. The leopard was so hungry, it just didn't care about the consequences. It fought the porcupine for about 30 minutes, then took a break. Wildlife photographer Mariette Landman captured the whole thing with her camera. She was on holiday at the National Park in 2021 when the prickly confrontation began. It happened on the main road right before her eyes. Amazingly, the fight went on for a total of 90 minutes. The leopard took three breaks to extract the porcupine quills from its paws and lick its wounds. And in the end, the porcupine proved too much of a hassle. The leopard walked away in one direction and the porcupine went in the other. It was a stalemate, although the leopard's paws were left covered in blood from the spiky quills. And number one, bitten by association. A Pennsylvania man was attacked by a rabid bobcat in the summer of 2019. His name is Alex Fink, and he was reaching into the crawl space underneath his front porch when the animal sprung. He had no idea there was a giant cat living underneath his home and had never expected to be assaulted as he reached into the darkness of the crawl space. But what surprised him even more was that the bobcat's face was covered in spiky porcupine quills. Obviously, the bobcat had gotten into some serious trouble with a tough customer. Alex had his head, arms, and upper torso scratched and bitten by the angry bobcat. He tried to kick and punch the thing, but it was in a wild frenzy. He finally managed to get away and lock himself in his car, and then he drove to the hospital for treatment. The attack had gone on for so long that Alex told local news he thought it would never end. Sadly for the bobcat, it was put down by Pennsylvania Game Commission officers. When they did tests, they saw it was rabid, meaning it had been infected with rabies. Alex had to get all those necessary shots before he was discharged, otherwise he may have become rabid too. In the end, it was half the fault of the bobcat and half the fault of the porcupine. The bobcat may have been rabid, but it was the porcupine quills in his face that forced it into hiding under Alex's porch. Having the spike stuck in its skin made the bobcat even more dangerous than it already was. Thanks for watching. Would you rather take 100 porcupine quills to the face or take your chances with a bobcat? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.